Hey everybody, my name's Tim, and this is my very first video on my Space Excellent channel. I am currently watching the Starship test launch. Now, if you're not sure what this is, uh, this is a giant metal flying gas tank, essentially, uh, that uh, has wings on it that is going to be proving the concept of Starship. Starship is going to be the largest and most capable rocket in the entire world. Uh, this is the very first altitude prototype. It's going to get up to about uh, about uh, 12 kilometers, they're hoping, which is about 40,000 feet. Just to let you know, um, Mount Everest is only about 29,000 feet, so it's going to be higher than Mount Everest, and most airplanes only go up to about 38,000 feet. So if you were in an airplane and you were looking out the window, you would see this thing shoot past you. You would never see that because they wouldn't allow it. But I'm saying that it, it, it just to kind of visualize, you would see it shoot up into the sky past the airplane. That's how high this is supposed to go. <clears throat> so we are about three minutes and five seconds away from launch. And I am going to be uh, kind of going through the entire launch as it happens. I'm so excited. The purpose of this launch is to gather data. It is not to function exactly how they wanted to. Granted, that would be amazing. If this thing actually launched and landed safely and soundly, that would be fantastic. But um, I'm not expecting that. I'm expecting some kind of, some kind of thing to happen to it. If, um, if it does land, it will, it will boost Starship beyond compare and it will certainly fly fast uh, before uh, SLS. So we're about two minutes and 18 seconds into it. You can see all the gas um, venting from the bottom of it. That's normal, that's supposed to happen. It's not leaking. I just dropped my Roku back. I'm so excited, my hands are so sweaty. Uh, so two minutes and one second, the... Two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes, two minutes, there we go. You heard the countdown. I have been waiting for this for a very, very, very long time. Now, there's a couple things that could happen to this. Uh, it could explode on the launch pad, possibly. Um, I think it's going to get to altitude, get to apogee where it shuts off the engines and then it begins its descent back, or its descent back down. If that happens, we're gonna get to see the flaps uh, control the descent. Uh, what that is, is it's like a belly flop maneuver. They're gonna use those, those wing looking things to control how it moves and so it doesn't just start tumbling on its way down. And at the very end, it is going to right itself like this and hopefully land on solid ground without exploding. T minus one second, I'm so excited. Ready? T minus one minute. There we go, T minus one minute. I've been waiting for this for at least, at least a year, I think. Uh, my old coworkers uh, would believe me because I would not shut up about it. And honestly, there's a couple that couldn't shut up about it also. Uh, this, is, this is just a test. Remember, remember, this is just a test. This is not meant to be the final product. Eventually, this will take us to Mars. It'll take us to the moon. And my personal favorite is it's going to take us from point to point transfer on Earth. Imagine flying on this, when it's safe, to the other side of the planet in 45 seconds. I'm sorry, 45 minutes compared to 24 minutes, uh, 24 hours. I'm so excited. Okay, seven seconds, five seconds. Oh, we got all kinds of views. I'm hoping we have telemetry like on uh, Falcon 9. One, zero. Oh, they ignited! Oh, it's, 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 oh, it's flying! Look at the thing! Oh, it's not exploding! Woo! Oh my gosh, look at that thing! Oh, look at the video, it's so awesome! Oh, look at that, look how, look how high it is already! Oh, and the camera tracking on the left, look at that, it's like, it's amazing, it's like NASA, NASA video. SpaceX is always really, really good at their video. Look at that, look at the engine bay, you can see all three of the Raptors 
firing. Uh, you can see the, the Raptor closest to us is number 42. I'm, that's the 42nd Raptor. Maybe it's uh, 41, 42, 43. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, they're not showing us altitude or telemetry like on regular Falcon 9 rockets, which is unfortunate. Uh, I wish we could know how, how, how high it is and how fast it's going. Believe me, they know it. They're just not advertising it. Look at that. Look at that thing fly. Oh my gosh. One minute, 16 seconds in. Look at that. And it didn't explode. It didn't explode. Oh, it's amazing. I, I wish we knew how, how high up it was. It looks like it's really, really high. Look at the, the top right screen. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. This is going to be us someday. Flying, we're going to be able to look out the window. Uh oh. Oh no. Did we just lose an engine? I, oh no, it's on fire! Yeah, we only have one engine. I only see I only see two flame plumes, and it looks like the you see the uh, the engines moving around. It looks like it's gimbling, trying to uh, control the ascent. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. I, I'm guessing they're not going to try and relight it. It didn't explode. It's fine. It's still going. This is, a, this is an amazing video. Look at this. This thing is, I don't know, 40, 30, 35,000 feet in the air. Look at this. And the video is like, it's HD. And you can hear it. Look, there's like actual microphones in the freaking engine bay. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Look at this thing go. <laughs> this is going to be us someday landing on Mars. I'm not sure if I want to yet. E eventually, it may be like a trip. I, I don't really want to die on Mars in like an explosion. Look at this thing. It's still going. Oh, the engine's moving around. Oh no, there's more fire. Oh no, it looks like there's one engine left. I only see one engine firing still. The other, the other two are... Number 42 is still firing, but the other ones are look like they're, they're not working anymore. I'm seeing a lot of... Uh, a lot of smoke or condensation coming out the back. I wish you knew how, how high up this was right now. I see lots of stuff floating around the engine bay. Look at the, like the, the thing hanging off the engine right there and the other pieces of look, look, what looks like shielding hanging off. I'm not even sure if this is still going up. Like you can, you can see the exhaust kind of like floating off to the side. It's not even going down anymore. Is it hovering? I think it's hovering. I don't think it's going up at all. I'm not even sure if this is part of what's supposed to happen because SpaceX didn't explain to us, you know, what was going to happen. Um, they don't, oh no, I see a smoke. I'm not sure if that's smoke or exhaust or condensation. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, oh, look at the flaps. You see the, okay, the engines are off and I see a lot of smoke. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. Okay, now it's beginning the belly flop maneuver. It's going to fall horizontally to the ground and it's going to be controlling its, its descent using these flaps on the, on the nose cone in the back. By the way, those flaps are being controlled by, my understanding, are Tesla motors. So you see how they're moving around. They're actually controlling the, the fall. It is, it is falling. Do not, under, do, not, do not second guess. It is falling to the ground right now. But it is, con, it is falling in a controlled manner, similar to how a, uh, a skydiver would fall, how they're holding out their arms, and that's slowing them down, and they can kind of control where they're going. So you'll see these flaps moving around. The, the one the, on the bottom right, that looks like 
possibly the back or, or the front. I'm not exactly sure which one, which one's which. Uh, but what's amazing, it, it is not, it is not breaking apart. It's not tumbling. This is the part I was actually really concerned about is the fact that uh, once it began this belly flap maneuver, it was just gonna bloop and break in half. And it looks like it's not doing it. This is so amazing. How, and, and the camera, like it's, it's zoomed, it has not left. That is an amazing shot and it's so clear. It's, it's gotta be really high up. I mean, maybe not now because it's falling. Oh, look at the, look at the contrail off the, off the, the, the flap. Look at that, it's so cool. <laughs> look at this. Oh, different camera. Oh, okay, engine bay. So it's gonna start. It's gonna, oh, look at that flip. Oh my gosh, look at that thing, what a ride. <laughs> oh, it, does it have two engines? Well, no, it's going too fast. Oh, no. No, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> oh no, Starship. <laughs> Oh, look, it's just like a lot of smoke. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Rest in peace, Starship. <laughs> it's, look at that. It is completely gone. It is gone. It's just smoke. And look, you can see the, the star hopper over there watching. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, and it's not a predecessor, it's, it's watching its, its newer model just obliterate itself. Good news is you see the, um, the, the black cylinders on the right hand side? That's where it left. So it's a good thing it didn't come back down on the line. Oh, we're zooming in. Is that part of the fuselage over there? Welcome to an online opening three down 911 at this time. Incredible work, team. Nice work. Mm, they said nice work. They're happy. It, okay, so that, lo that looks like an enclosure on the left-hand side. Looks like it's got a giant rip in it. Probably injured at some point. Yeah, Starship is just gone. Oh, is that the nose cone? <laughs> it's, it's the nose cone. That's all that survived. <laughs> That's all that survived. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Oh great, look, it says awesome test. Congrats, Starship team. <laughs> that was so amazing. Uh, so that did a couple things. That did... <laughs> so, okay, so it worked, number one, it worked. It flew, it, I don't know how, how high it got, I'm assuming there's people on the ground that could measure how high it got, and I'm sure they'll come out with that kind of news later. If SpaceX doesn't come out with it or Elon Musk doesn't tweet it. Um, it flew, it got to Apogee wherever, however high that was. It began its belly flop maneuver with its little wingies uh, controlling its, its descent. It wasn't tumbling out of control. Uh, that was awesome. It actually did this giant, did you see that, that, sw that swing it did to kind of right itself? And it actually was vertical. <laughs> Look at that little thing. The nose cone's like a little nipple poking out of the out of the landing pad. <laughs> and it's in the landing pad. Like it actually made it where it needed to go. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, it, it it did everything correct. The only thing it didn't do was land. Now, obviously, I wouldn't want to be in the fireball that happened, but the great thing about this is it is the very first test of a high-altitude version of this ship. Uh, Musk, I think, only gave it like a 33% chance of actually working. And it, it worked. I mean, it didn't land, but it got there. That's a good thing. Oh, look, it says SN9 up next. So, so SN means serial number. The, the thing that just flew and crashed was serial number eight. Uh, serial number nine, 
they're going to take all this data, all the telemetry, all the, the learning thing, all the learning events that they got with this, and they're going to apply that to serial number nine. And hopefully, I think I need to turn this off. They're probably going to go to a different channel here when they stop the feed. Okay. Uh, hopefully when serial number nine comes around, they will land that thing and it will be standing there like a giant magnificent rocket that didn't blow up. <laughs> it was so amazing. Oh, I'm so sweaty. Uh, okay, so just remember that was a test. Uh, it was not meant to be the final thing. It blew up. Do not worry, okay? They, SpaceX didn't even really give it more than a 40% chance of actually doing what it did. So they got the data, they got the telemetry, it will work again on the next one. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. That was my very first video on my Space Excellent channel. And if you would like to see more from me about uh, overarching uh, SpaceX stuff, uh, about uh, Starship, please <laughs> like and subscribe to my channel. Um, this is gonna be more of an opinion channel. There are some really great channels out there that go like really hardcore into like scientific, you know, exhaust ports and uh, updates every single day about uh, the development of Starship. And that's not necessarily gonna be what my channel is gonna be about. Um, I might get into some of that, but uh, it's gonna be a fun ride. We are witnessing history here and it is something to be excited about. I think I'm gonna watch that again. That was so exciting. And I thank you for watching. Uh, please push the subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. I currently have zero subscribers. Uh, and then if you wanna gently click that uh, little bell uh, and the like button, that would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. See ya.